Hey guys, the most common potentiometer question I get, and perhaps maybe even the most common PCB project question that I get in general. Um, having a little trouble formulating the actual question um, in my head, so I'm just going to go through this one step at a time. Uh, it's quite a simple question, but there's uh, a little bit of digging that we need to do before we can actually get to the answer. Um, so it relates to PCB projects, so that's a PCB project, that's a D DVE um, pumpkin pie. Um, so when you buy, let's start at the beginning, when you buy a PCB um, project like the pumpkin pie, it's going to be made or it's going to be designed to fit particular potentiometers. As you can see here, these are these are 16 mil um, potenti potentiometers along the back there. It takes three of them. You see the outline in white on the silk screen. And then just to show you visually how it would fit, um, this potentiometer is a 16 mil potentiometer. It has right angle legs and it has PCB pins on the bottom. So this one fits perfectly straight into um, into the PCB. But this is not the only option that you could use for this particular PCB. First though, let's just take a step back as well. What is this PCB actually designed for? Well, it's designed for a 1590B. Forget what's actually installed in here in the orientation. I'm just showing you the sizing. You can see it's designed for a 1590B, so it will fit um, three, uh, three potentiometers in a row um, inside the, this actual enclosure, which is called a 1590B. Even better, let me show you my pumpkin pie. Um, so as you can see, it's been installed like that. That's where the three, um, that's where the three pots uh, would sit on the front of the enclosure. You can't put this this PCB project inside something smaller. Obviously, this is a 1590A. That's what the enclosure size is called. And as you can see, just not going to fit. Um, so this PCB is made for a 1590B enclosure or larger. So of course it's going to fit in a 1590BB if it's going to fit in a 1590B or a 125B as well, which is even which is larger than a 1590B as well. So you kind of sort of so we kind of say 1590B or larger, um, and uh, it has a lot to do with the potentiometer size and the PCB size as well, obviously, but also the potentiometer size. So with a 1590A, you can fit one 16 mil potentiometer inside. Um, but generally, we use these 9mm potentiometers, which are, as you can see, size comparison between the two, they're, they're much smaller. So as an example, this is, a pro this is a 1590A project, as you can see, it's quite small. This is my Tone Master, Range Master with a tone control and a power inverter. Uh, and we would need, you would need, you'd have to use 9mm um, pots on this because as you can see, um, you're just not going to fit two next to each other. The second pot goes here. You're just not going to be able to fit two 16mm um, pots um, onto this PCB. Doesn't particularly matter that the that the leads fit inside these um, uh, inside the pads. And this is what I'm get. This is where I'm going with this particular video. So often people will buy a Tone Master, and they might be new. To building a guitar, to, to building guitar pedals, and they'll say, um, uh, "What potentiometers should I use for this?" And so you can see there's a few considerations because it depends on what size potentiometer, uh, what size enclosure you're using. If you're using a small um, 1590A enclosure, you have no choice but to use um, nine millimeter pots. Um, there are some projects that actually have. I think I've seen some that actually have two, um, two 16 mil. Um, pots like that, sort of next to each other, kind of like that. This one doesn't use it. Um, so, so, I mean, you might be able to shove it all in and fit it. It'd be a bit of, I think it would be a tight squeeze, just from my experience. Um, you'd probably be able to do it, but it'd be a bit of a tight squeeze. So if you're doing a 1590A, the safe bet is just to use a nine mil, uh, two 9mm pots, and it will go straight in front. You'll have two controls there, and you'll be done. But if you're using um, a 1590B enclosure, um, you can still use 9mm pots straight into the PCB, but as you might know, if you have two potentiometers right next to each other like this, the spacing on the front of the enclosure 
they will be very close together. You'll have two knobs that'll be uh, quite close together um, in the center of the pedal. If that doesn't bother you, then your life's really simple. All you do is just solder them in, bang, they go in the middle and you're done. It just looks like they're kind of bunched together in the middle of the, of the front of the, of the enclosure. If that aesthetic does bother you though, you can still use nine millimeter potentiometers. You just wouldn't solder directly into uh, the, the PCB. You'd have to wire them manually. So that is basically soldering a piece of wire into the PCB, running it up to the legs of the potentiometer, and then you'd be able to space them out wherever you want because they'd be running to wires on the actual um, PCB. If you are gonna do something like this, I'd recommend getting some um, uh, some heat shrink. It's finding one that sort of fits pretty well. So you'd put the heat shrink over each leg just like that because these are close, uh, space quite close to each other. So just, so just protect them with some um, heat shrink between the three legs and you should be fine as far as that goes. I've done that myself before. Um, and, um, and so that's, so that's how, that's, they're your options. Otherwise you can use, um, a 16 mil, um, potentiometer. And in fact, you probably wouldn't use a PCB pin. Um, you would use, I'm just grabbing one here, a solder lug, um, because then the wire just goes straight through, you put the wire through and you solder it straight to the, straight to the pin. But you can use these, of course, of course, you just solder onto the, to the pins or you can cut the pins off and solder onto this larger um, surface area um, of the leg. So you can do that too. So you can buy the, uh, uh, you can buy a, 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 this is just an example of the one that I particularly have the Toma. So you can buy any 1590A um, PCB and uh, you can need, and if you're gonna use a 1590B, you can use larger um, potentiometers or you can use, you know, the nine mil ones that go straight in um, or you can use the nine mil ones and wire to them manually and then you can put them wherever you like on the front of the uh, on the front of the enclosure So I hope that makes sense as far as that goes But there's one other question too. I suppose that this could raise is can you use nine mil potentiometers with um, a, a 1590B um, Designed PCB and of course you can you just do the same thing all you're doing is just wiring them directly um, to the um, potentiometer so it has its so it's a bit flexible in that way but it does have its downside of course um, generally the PCB is held um, in place with the potentiometers um, once you put the potentiometers in um, and they get screwed onto the front of the enclosure um, that's kind of what's holding the the board in, in place it's what's giving it giving its uh, uh, stability um, if you use wires, it's a little bit more, it, it has a bit more uh, uh, room to move. However, that's how I only ever built my first um, guitar pedals. They were all just wired by hand and I didn't really have much, uh, like even though, like sort of, you, you might be sort of thinking, um, or, or it, feel, it, it sort, of, sort of feels like it's not gonna work, it's gonna move around a lot. But once you've actually stuffed all the wires in, everything's in place, the potentiometers will still be on the back of it. Um, so you'll still have, you know, um, uh, the, the base will probably, will most likely be behind the PCB as well. It doesn't actually move around a lot, so it's not that big a deal. Um, the, it, of course, it's just simpler just to, just to solder those straight in um, like that. And there's less room, uh, less margin for error if you do it this way as well. But if you're just working with what you've got on hand or, um, you want to adjust a PCB, uh, like a small PCB for a big enclosure, or you've got a PCB and you want to use smaller pots, etc., etc. It is pretty flexible in that in, in that way. You don't have to stick to what is um, provided in the design. You can you can you can um, uh, you can change it a little bit. It's 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 a little bit more flexible than that. So it is pretty flexible in that respect. Probably something you're mainly going to consider when you're going up a size. So if you're going 1598 to 1590B, 1590B to BB maybe, you might do it. Or if you're just using potentiometers that you have on hand um, and they're not suited for the actual size of um, uh, that's, that's designed on the PCB. Um, like I said, if you've got 16 mils and your PCB only takes 9 mil or whatever, um, yeah, you can just you can change it 
um, just wire use wire and manual, manually wire it pretty much. So I hope you found that explanation useful um, and um, thanks for watching the video. And if you need pedal parts, you know where to get them, diyguitarpedals.com.au. Thanks for your support guys, see you in the next video. Cheers.